In this segment, we want to talk about improvements to the order problem screen, namely the logic that we use to compute an unusually high order quantity, and also a couple of other filter revisions put in. So let's take a look at that. So the way you get to the order problem screen, if you're not familiar, is from the billing system, that's a 3, then a 20 for billing file maintenance, and then really what we're looking at is option 16 from that menu. So that's a 3, 20, 16 to get there. And this is the order problem screen. So you can search by invoice number, item number, category class, source of order, meaning did it come from the field, was keyed online, and so forth. Web console would be an option. Uh, new filters added are warehouse. For a multi-warehouse environment, you can search for a given warehouse, or you can search by route. For instance, if I put route 201 in, find any problems, Relating to that given route, the route numbers show up uh, over here to the far right. Um, so you have route number. And then as far as the unusually high order quantity logic, we now use a date to go back and produce an average. And so that date defaults to 60 days back in the past. And we also use the variance percentage uh, as qualifiers to determine what shows up. Uh, also, you can filter by order status. That would be uh, picked orders or orders where the invoice has been printed and so forth. And you have a way to select different problems that may that you want to search for. So if I bring, put my cursor over there and press F4 to search, these are the types of problems that you can search for. High order quantity, unauthorized items. So for instance, if I want to look at unauthorized items, on orders. You can do that. And I don't have any in my system for that. Oh, the, I'm still filtering to Route 201, so let's see if we have anything if I don't put that qualifier in there. Yes, and we do have some. So that's sort of the way in general that it works, but if we want to focus a little bit on the unusually high order quantity because that was where most of the logic revisions took place. So by default, it looks back to a start date and move forward to today's date, uh, and that's to produce an average order quantity. And defaults to 60 days back. Now in my system, uh, some of my data is a little old, so I'm gonna go back to January 1st of 2022. I'm gonna come over and search for an unusually high order quantity. That is a problem, of course, you can have four search for it if you don't remember what H is. I press enter, and it's gonna go out and look for some things that qualify takes it a couple of seconds to run. And so uh, here are a couple of things we want to point out. So here they've ordered 100 units of Redman plug in the standard selling unit. And what we've done to, to better address mixed units of measure where an item is sold in not just one unit of measure, but possibly others, and it might be mixed. So what we did to address that is break the quantity down to the retail level down to eaches, and we do express the average order quantity in eaches. And there we have a straightforward apples to apples comparison looking at the variance. So here, ordinarily, or th this order would reflect 1200 eaches, and their average is 120 eaches on an order, and so that's a variance of 900%. You can see the route it falls on and so forth out there to the right. So that's the primary change that was made here for the unusually high order quantity, but there are a lot of other useful pieces inside of here. For instance, uh, if you want to just see things that are shorted, a Q, quantity shortage. And so here they've ordered more than you can fulfill. And so there's a shortage in there. So uh, we urge everybody to take advantage of the order problem screen. It's intended to be preemptive, uh, to do it before you actually print the invoices probably. So you can catch problems, address them, uh, possibly avoid returns and credits and things of that nature, and, uh, and just be on the front end of things. And that's all we had for this segment.